In this video, I want to show you how you can use the AI image generation feature of the Mega Pack to start creating your own images uh, with artificial intelligence. So, once the Mega Pack is loaded, next to choose an option, we want to select AI image generation and hit OK. And then this will load our screen here. Now, our first option is asking us whether we want to generate from a single prompt or to bulk create from multiple prompts. As this is in beta, you can only choose single and that option is pre-selected for you. Uh, in future uh, versions, you will also be able to bulk create as well. So our next option is our AI setup. And under this, we have a uh, drop-down box with multiple models to use. So these models each specialize in creating a certain sort of content. So the color book uh, model specializes in creating coloring pages. The stable diffusion is the general stable, um, stable diffusion model. Uh, T-shirt diffusion is for T-shirt like designs. Then we have two mid journey ones. So this one, Mid Journey uh, Diffusion, is the general Mid Journey one. And then we have Mid Journey Paint Art. So that's in the style of Mid Journey and uh, paintings. And then at the bottom here, we have Anything Diffusion, which uh, specializes in anime. So when we choose one of these uh, models, what you might notice is text appearing in our um, prompt text box. Now, it's important you leave um, this generated text in there and add your prompt to it because um, the text it adds is the trigger word um, to activate the model, basically. So for example here, um, I've chosen um, color book, which is coloring book, and I'm gonna leave the um, text it's inserted here and let's just say, um, I don't know, cute quahi dog. And I'm just leaving the extra text it generated there. And then moving down to my next options. So I've got number of images. So this is the amount of images that you want to generate in response to the prompt. Um, you can do as many as you want, but obviously uh, the more that you do, the slower the process. I recommend four to eight if you want to do more than one. We'll give you a variety to choose from. So let's let's go with eight. Uh, we choose the amount of steps. So this is the number of um, iterations of noise removal. Generally, 50 is perfect. Um, you can decrease this or increase it. Um, depending on how busy the server is, it may limit you to 50. Um, but when you click generate, it will tell you if you need to change this. And then we have the width and height of our image. So this must be a multiple of 64. And we can go up to just a little over 3000 on both the width and the height. It doesn't need to be square either. You can have it in any... Um, dimensions that you choose. And again, if the server is very busy, it may ask you to lower um, the width and the height of the um, image that you want to generate. So let's just start, let's do 1024, 1024, and hit generate. So as you can see here, it's asking me to lower my um, image size. So let's go 576, 576, hit generate. Now, obviously, depending on how busy the server is and how many images you want it generated, etc., this may take a few minutes. It just massively varies. So please be patient. You will see once the generation has completed, the image appear where this white space is now. And as you can see now, my images are generated. 
they appear over in this box here and I can um, scroll through them using these buttons here like so. And if there's one that I like or I think I want to use, then what I can do is uh, save it here. So I can choose to save as either a PNG, a JPEG, or a vector file, SVG. If I save as a PNG to start with, and I'll go back to SVG a bit later. So if I save that as one, now, what you can also do here is upscale the output by four times. So if I, I'll save this as um, the original size. And then if I save this upscaled, I do just one dash one and hit save. And then we have my two images here. So I have number one, um, which is the original sized image here, like that. And then I have my upscaled image here, which is uh, four times the size. Now, um, with this generation, you see lots of um, artifacts or um, bits of odd color and imperfections. So what you can do and what we do have the option for is if you save as a SVG, the um, program will attempt to redraw um, the, the image as a vector file. Now, sometimes this works well, sometimes this doesn't work so well, but if you want to give it a go, obviously choose save as SVG. And then down here, we see new options and that's our vector output color options. So then we can choose to save um, as a black and white uh, vector file or color. As this is black and white, I'm going to leave it on black and white and hit save. And then if I open this file here, and as you can see, it's now a vector file being redrawn. So I can zoom in any amount and obviously the quality doesn't change. So there you have it. There's the quick introduction to the AI image generation feature of the Megapack. I hope it helps you. Thank you for watching.